Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to read The Camera Kid. What are we going to read? What's it called? Oh, oh. Who are you? Um, I'm Dude. Um, I never heard of you before. I'm Senior Smarty Pants because I have glasses. What was your name again? Dude. My name's Dude. Well, Dude, do you like to read? Uh huh, for sure. Yeah, reading's totally tubular. Oh, well. Good thing, because we're going to read a story. See right here? See, it's called The Camera Kid. Do you want to read it with us? Uh, I don't know how to read. But I, uh, I like pictures. I like pictures a lot. Well, um, you can look at the pictures. I can teach you how to read. Uh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> I like pictures. Yeah, so there's going to be pictures, but there's also words. So could you pay attention? Yeah, I can pay attention for, like, two whole minutes. Like, I'm really good at paying attention. Um, okay. Well, you're welcome to join us. Tubular. Yeah. Hi. Okay, let's just have you kind of walk over here, maybe, a little bit. Just to kind of... Uh, okay. All right, boys and girls. Ready to read with us? All right. All right, today we're reading The Camera Kid. Okay, we're going to start with our vocabulary words. The Camera Kid. Today is April 1st, 2020. Vocabulary words. Every place. Every place. Not just one place, but every single place. So all the places. Photos, which means pictures. Animals. We know what animals are. Circus has the big top. It's a huge tent. We don't have circus anymore in Fresno. The circus is not in business anymore. Um, my kids have actually never been to a circus because it closed down about a year or two before I thought about taking them, so they've never gone to the circus. But at the circus, there are elephants. Um, we have Yosemite National Park, and it's only about an hour and a half, maybe about two hours away. Our airport is even called Yosemite Airport because a lot of people fly to Fresno in a plane. Then they take a car to Yosemite because we're super close to Yosemite. Yosemite National Park. And there's many different kinds of parks. There's also Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park, and we're super close to that. We're only like 45 minutes away from that. So you will see pictures of Yosemite in the story. Album is a collection of photos. Okay, so an album is a collection of photos. Mountain lion. Oh, we have mountain lions in um, places like North Fork, Coarse Gold. Those are, um, those are little mountain communities. That's called the foothills. Not all the way in the tall mountains like Yosemite, but in the foothills where they have little, um, they're in the mountains, but not all the way up. They're more in the foothills. They have mountain lions. They even have to keep their dogs um, caged up during the day, so um, especially at nighttime, I should say, so that the mountain lions don't get the dogs. And the mountain lions do get the kitty cats. So um, that's a type of wild cat. Mountain lions are a type of wild cat. Squirrel, you know what a squirrel is. We have them on our, um, under our tree in the front of our school. We have lots of squirrels out there. All right, coyotes. I think we've talked about coyotes before. Coyotes look like skinny dogs. They actually burrow under the ground. Um, they have special dens and they only come out at night. All right, bighorn sheep. I have sheep next to my house. I don't have bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep um, usually live in different places. Um, you guessed it. They have two really big horns, one on the left and one on the right, and flowers. All right, so going over this again. Every place, photos, animals, circus, elephants, Yosemite National Park, album, mountain lion, squirrel, coyotes, bighorn sheep, and flowers. All right, and today we're not going to echo read. We're going to read one time through, and then we're going to spend a little bit of time um, going over how to find these questions. I know we did it a while ago, um, but we haven't done it for a while, so just, just to help review... Um, we're going to go through and find these answers together. Okay, all right, here we go. The camera kid. Focus question. If you had a camera, what would you take photos of? Ooh, good question. You could pause and ask that question or answer that question with somebody um, in your family. If you had a camera, what would you take photos of? Pause and talk to your family. Where is Yosemite National Park? Ah, we just talked about that. It's only about an hour and a half away. All right, here we go. The camera kid. Chris's mom calls him the camera kid. He takes his camera every place, which means everywhere. Chris takes his camera when he goes to the zoo. He takes photos of the animals. 
Chris takes his camera. Oh, go ahead and get that whole picture there. Here we have the lake, and here we have the circus. Chris takes his camera when he goes to the lake. He takes photos of the ducks. Chris takes his camera when he goes to the circus. He takes photos of the elephants. I didn't ring my bell earlier. Oh, we have to go back. We have to go back. You didn't ring the bell. That's like totally against the rules. Oh, wait. I guess you already had the book open, so we can go ahead and close it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, like, why do you ring the bell? Well, we ring the bell so that and it helps us remember to turn the page. Oh, awesome. All right, cool. Why is he still here? All right, so we'll go from the beginning. We ding the bell. There we go. We read this page. We read that page. We're good. Sounds good to me, dude. Um, the page is stuck. I can't turn the page. I'm having some... You need me to help you? I'm super strong. Yeah, and by the way, I like your blue hair. Why is his hair blue? <laughs> Oh, it's really stuck together. It's really, really stuck together. Oh, whew. Oh, that turned two pages. We're having some technical di We're having some technical difficulties. Oh my gosh, the pages are stuck together. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, read on. Read on. Chris's new photo album is full of photos from Yosemite National Park. Yosemite National Park is in California. Chris thinks his best photos are of the animals in Yosemite. At Yosemite, Chris took photos of bears. He took photos of deer and birds. Chris even took a photo of a mountain lion and a squirrel. The camera kid took photos of every animal he saw. <laughs> that was me, dude. I totally ring the bell. <laughs> um, you're kind of distracting a little bit. Sorry, dude. Let's go in. You have lots of good photos, said Chris's mom. But all I see are animals. Did you take photos of anything but animals? Hmm, let's see. Let us remember that contraction. Let's see, said Chris. Here are photos of coyotes and the bighorn sheep. Go ahead and zoom in there. I don't see a picture of a bighorn sheep. Hmm, there's a coyote. But I don't see a picture of a bighorn sheep. Oh, bummer. Animals. Animals, animals, and more animals. <laughs> I like animals. Animals are awesome. Okay, you're going to have to, like, stop interrupting, okay? Animals, animals, and more animals, said Chris's mom. What about Yosemite Falls? What about the flowers? <laughs> that was me again. I like the bell. <laughs> At last, I found one, Chris said. Here is a photo of you on a horse. On a horse, of course. All right, so we're going to go through and read our questions and then find the answers. All right, what is the main idea mostly all about? A little boy takes pictures of different things, and that's something you should know in your head, and every page... The little boy is taking pictures. On every single page, it's taking pictures. We're proving our answers, the words, and pictures. And he's taking pictures of everything. And that's why he's called the camera kid. Okay. Where does the story take place? Okay. So you'll notice it takes place at the zoo, at the lake, at the circus, and then he goes back home and they're sitting on the couch looking at pictures so it takes place at the zoo the lake the circus and at home so instead of commas in a series with one two and three it's 
one, two, three, and four. It takes place at the zoo, one, the lake, two, the circus, three, and at home. Who are the characters? The characters are, we have only two characters in the story, the boy Chris and his mom. I think his mom's really pretty. <laughs> Yes, um, she is. She's pretty. She's a really nice mom. Can you, like, focus? Because we're trying to do questions here. Oh, sorry, dude. Who are the characters? The characters are the boy, Chris, the boy named Chris, and his mom. It doesn't mean boy, Chris, and his mom. Okay? The boy, comma, his name is Chris, and his mom. Okay? What happened in the beginning? In the beginning, in the beginning, look what he's doing. Pause. Prove your answer. All right. In the beginning, Chris took pictures at the zoo. Why am I dinging the bell to turn a page on the question answered? Because I'm so trained. I'm hitting that bell to turn a page. What happened in the middle? Okay. In the middle, Chris took pictures of the lake, ducks at the lake, and elephants at the circus. You could also choose, if you wanted to, you could choose that for the middle also, okay? There's many different parts in the middle, just choose one. Chris took pictures of the elephant and the ducks. What happened in the end, okay? Oh, well, excuse me, the very, very end, it's his mom on a horse. I chose this, near the end, okay? So what happened? In the end, Chris and his mom look at his pictures of Yosemite. So that was from this page. Okay. Was the story fiction or nonfiction? Again, it's realistic fiction. The story was fiction. The people in the story are pretend, but the places are real. Circus is real. The zoo is real. The lake is real. And Yosemite National Park is real. And it talks about Yosemite, um, Yosemite Falls. Yosemite Falls is a huge, we didn't talk about that in our vocabulary, did we? Yosemite Falls is a gigantic waterfall. Super cool. Did you enjoy the story? Yes, I did. I did too. I really, really liked it. Okay, okay. We weren't really asking you. We are kind of asking the reader. Sorry, kids. He keeps interrupting. Oh, sorry. My bad. Did you enjoy the story? Yes, I did. Why? I enjoyed seeing all his pictures in his album. That's what I like. That's just my opinion. I like seeing all the pictures in his album. Why did the author write this story? To entertain me, to teach me, or to change my opinion? The author wrote this story to entertain me. Can you find rhyming words? Lake and take, two and zoo. And I'm not going to show you where those are. You have to hunt in the book and find those yourself. Okay, so Ellery, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on this page. So boys and girls... So be on Class Dojo also, pause, freeze the screen, go ahead and pause so you can copy this down, boys and girls. And I hope you had enough time to pause the screen. I hope you know by now when you're watching this, you should have remote control in your hand. And pause. All right, good. That's so that you have time to copy that if you need to. If you're writing the answers for yourself, good for you. But I do want you to check your answers against my answers. So, what did you think of your first reading lesson? I thought it was really good. I'll learn some new words. I'll learn the word to -e. Um, I think the word is the. Oh, uh, well, I like that word. Ya uh -uh. Um, sorry, but that word is you. Oh, I'm new at this. That's okay. You're learning. All right. I'll see you later. Oh, huh, bye-bye.